There we go. Fuck this. We'll see what the difference is between uh, Wes and what uh. Duck. And I think they might just be getting right into it. And West Coast West Falcon. Falcon. Interesting. I don't know. Falcon's a good choice as a whole. Like uh, Falcon played defensively or offensively. I play pretty uh, aggro against Samus. Either style of play you do against uh, Samus, still it works pretty well. Whether you play like how West Falls played in the set or Wizzy, some would say, or the way I played, I think uh, no matter how you play, Samus is at a, as a, at a pretty big disadvantage. I don't know what he did last time, but uh, I Battlefield Game Falcon, 1 uh, kind of gives Samus a recovery too. He kind of forced you uh, Blood Falcon. a B yeah. or uh, As a Falcon man, one, one. kind of forced you like uh, what's it called grapple at a very predictable way or uh, what's it called a B and it's really easy to cover. So not the best Game 1 stage. Some game soon. Alright. Kind of bad DI by Duck. <laughs> and Wes is more of an outspacer. When he doesn't really know how to play a matchup, he tends to just outspace whether it's Falcon or Falco. He just kind of, uh, it's like full hop, safe aerials over and over until it works. That's, that's effective against some players. Whenever I watch Wes Balls versus like Mac D, Wes always just like camps the fuck out of Mac D eventually, and then just, uh, Mac D just keeps running into him. Wedge cancel. Like Stole for me. Probably, probably Interesting choice to uh, do a single in there. Like it kind of worked. Uh, I kind of like it actually. I think the range was too hard for other aerials to connect. And made Duck panic doing up B. Right here though, you, you, all you have to do is a scoop. You don't have to do a full up knee, especially because uh, he fast followed it. If you just do an up, it's going to hit him no matter what. And he's at the percentage where. This upper, unless he has insane smash yeah, he's gonna connect with one at least one other move after the upper. So I don't like this knee by Wes. Plus, if, even if you connect with the knee, he kind of hit him too far away to keep with the combo. I'd rather uh, upper and keep it going and keep him close to you. Probably, probably one of Sam's as hard as for sure. Wes is not good against uh, floaties with Falco. He's not getting Samus. He's not getting against. Uh, What's it called? I see he's not getting its uh, Peach Puff with Falco. It's his versus floaty game is definitely not. It's like literally night and day for him compared to how good he is against like Fox, Falcon, Falco. That was a nice upper. Catches in there. Fortunate death by Wes. Uh, Sabi Nazu. Gets a power shield off of that charge shot. Wow. Yeah, West Falls really has. Yeah. See, uh, what West will do, uh, he picks his spots a lot more defensively than me. I would. When in neutral, he just uh, spaces like full up backers, and Samus can't really do much, sadly, because she's Samus against like full up backer. It's like really safe pressure. Pretty lame, but it works. That was a good air dodge. Uh, that was like a pretty guaranteed uh, down smash connect. And he had no jump too, so the air dodge is really key. Escaping. He should have went for it right here. You gotta have like a good uh, eye for uh, when stuff's gonna connect. And uh, honestly, in this spot, you might as well go for the back air. And land. Even if you miss, he's gonna grab the edge and you're gonna be safe. So you might as well go for it right here. In my opinion. You have a good eye for it. Maybe I'm just saying this in ret retrospect. I would have went for it. Maybe, but I might have died right there. Who knows? I'm wondering if uh, in this spot up B is better than a uh, grab because uh, it's obviously a free grab. But I wonder if there's enough time for an up B to connect, and that's obviously going to pay off harder than uh, grabbing Samus at this percentage. Where 
After a grab, you can't actually do anything no matter what kind of grab you do. So maybe an up B. There's enough time for an up B to connect. And looking at my guide's frame data would probably uh, be helpful for that. Compared to grab, frame data and up B. I'm going to release fun day tonight probably. I want to practice for DreamHack. Covers every option. Um, I'm not against uh, this covering every option, especially uh, when you're beneath Samus, she's in a bad spot and uh, she has to kind of trick you to uh, safely go back on the floor. Yeah. It's well spaced aerials by Wes as a whole. But his kind of one dimensional. Need their approach. It's kind of gotten like hit by a, a down tilt eventually. I know why I duck grab here. It's because uh, West's shield was so low. Look how low West's shield was, and then but West just uh, jumps behind it. There's pretty good. Ooh, that was a good combo with Wes. Uh, I probably went in there too. Done the same exact thing. And here, uh, you can't. You have to upper to connect that. But uh, doing it in there and making him jump is still. You're still in a good spot against Samus. Back throw could work, but uh, I don't know. It's something that's annoying. But on this stage, it's pro probably not bad because it's battlefield. Thing is, he's gonna di up and solve his double jump, so maybe an up B is still better for like just doing the damage and sending him further away, even if it's gonna send him to the left side. Degen, Degen hours. Uh, I'm gonna go to Fun Day, so unless I leave early from Fun Day, I probably not. I do like playing Wolf Among Us though. The game is yeah, seems like it's gonna be a banger. Problem with uh, Samus too, especially when it's platforms, it's very easy to trick. Samus isn't fast enough to uh, cover multiple options unless you're too far away. Once, if you have platforms to up, you, do, uh, you can edge chance the platforms, you can fade back. You can land on a platform, you can go through the platform. So you have like four ways to trick Samus, and Samus has to basically commit to an option a lot of times, one of the four. So it's actually pretty hard for Samus to uh, edge guard Falcon unless uh, Falcon's like up being too far away. Much up throw and bait jump aerial. Uh, maybe it's still better than uh. Maybe throw and it's still pretty good because sends you up or off stage. But uh, maybe up is the best. Is what I'm trying to say. I know uh down smash is like guaranteed punish, but I guess uh if you're fast enough, down tilt also gets you punished by a knee. Something I was pretty borderline about, but I guess it's like guaranteed to be fast enough. So these uh these missiles, you can actually just narrow through them, making Samus' missiles not that good against Falcon. Like you can actually knee safely, and uh, maybe you don't want to knee the missile and fly towards him. He's gonna CC and punish you, but you can at least uh, knee it like safely and fade back if you don't want to be above Samus like West. West chose West chose to jump above Samus. Maybe you can instead uh, nair and fade back, so you don't want to be above her. That was a free knee, he fucked up. Yeah, it's really weird with down tilt. It's like a strange window. You gotta be perfect to punish. Uh, also, uh, knee could have been spaced better. Stomp was kind of stale, but uh, still has enough the uh, uh, stun for like a free grab follow up. And I think up throw is better at low percents. Whether uh, the DI bad and go above you, it's like a free upper. Probably a trade, but still a free uh, upper trade. That's in your favor. Or you're gonna go to a platform where uh, you're likely to keep up the pressure, or you're gonna tech. Yeah, 
Yeah. You want to stomp here after the knee. Stomping, uh, this would have been like a nipple stomp, most likely. Also, uh, I think keeping Samus, there's a chance might, uh, if they, even if they meteor, they're probably going to double jump, in which case you can stomp again. And no matter what they do, you're still pretty safe. But that's just like a difference of opinion. Maybe he's content with his lead and uh, double knee, have a pretty safe edge guard attempt. You're not likely to get the kill though. Gets the knee into knee. Knee. Wow. Are you gonna play another chapter of Wolf Among Us? Maybe. Wouldn't be Dejan hours though. It'd be uh, no, pretty normal hours actually. That's a kill. Damn, get fucked up. West played pretty solid. Uh, just some minor mistakes he made. Maybe he's not mixing it up enough, but uh, as a whole, he played it just fine. He does like very solid two stock. Do you SD down? I don't know how to SD it correctly. I usually just go off like up and away. I feel like that's safer. Down might get you out of it. I have no idea. This is Duck's uh, favorite stage in the game, plus it's a smart choice against Falcon. Even if uh, even if Falcon is not as bad as uh, he used to be on Founder Dreams, it's still uh, smart to do here. It's definitely better than Battlefield. And in, in my opinion, Yoshi's too. Definitely better for Samus. Duck's still dropping forwarder. Interesting. So why I like uh, Founder Dreams as Falcon. Wes does this, I, so do I, I do this too, where uh, you know this platform is medium height. So that means your aerial uh, aerials against your opponent in this in this segment is going to be way faster than normal when it's like this, when you ne'er drop through up air, ne'er again. So it's like a six sequence you can do, because the platform's at the right height. It cancels your leg that you can't do on any other stage. Yeah, this is both something pretty good in a critique. I think West does too many uh, fallout backers or backers in general with pressure. It's it's good pressure, but he's it seems like he's so reliant on it. His main uh, neutral game choices are just backer and uh, running at them there. I think he can maybe grab a little bit more and mix it up. Maybe some gentlemen too at higher percents. Jab mix ups. So far, it's not like really hurting him though to uh, have a pretty one dimensional neutral. Somni. Interesting that Duck's going for a lot of uh, grabs. When Wes, you know, he hasn't really been shielding that much. He's been more of an aerial heavy player. And every grab he's done so far has not paid off. Through sweet spot back here. That's what I'm talking about. Look how hard it is for Samus to uh, edge guard Falcon in this spot. This was kind of questionable in the first place. Like, uh, Wes was already like right there, and he up and then, then Duck grabs the edge right after. Kind of, I think, it kind of like reflexively, not as like a reaction to his up B positioning. Like, if say Wes. I think it was just too uh too early. Maybe he could have like faked going for the edge to bait like an up B. But uh as soon as he grabbed the edge, he pretty much like couldn't edge guard Falcon no matter what. It was too hard from then on. Unless West like fucks up. Faking faking a uh ledge, like doing a small weight dash. Will definitely be at the up B. Then he'd have more time to follow up. But uh see there's like a platform that I can either stay on or pass through and it's such a strong mix-up that Samus really struggles to edgeguard Falcon. Is that still a thing? Are people still arguing over Samus's 
I believe it's actually somebody proved it. I don't know who it was, but somebody said that it is. Right here though you can't use knee or a stump. When the platform's this high you can't actually uh stomp or knee. You gotta uh limit your options to uh, either grab up there. This is when you get starting this is when you get cock blocked for doing like knee or stump. I believe it's actually somebody proved it. I don't know who it was, but somebody said that it is they showed that it definitely is not uh, easily reactable. My sweet spot though. And if you know how to edge cancel like me or Wes, Fan of Dreams is pretty good against floaties. So the stage definitely is not nearly as like auto lost like it used to be. Like Falcons used to like cry and then lose because on the stage, but uh, it's definitely not bad. The boundary still kind of sucked though. Like uh, knees on Yoshi's won't kill Samus. I mean knees here won't kill like on Yoshi's for example or Battlefield. The stage is kind of big. The boundaries at least. I kind of agree with the commentators here in that uh, Wes is playing it safe and can't be. And Samus sucks at dealing with that too, so uh, it's a very viable choice. I wouldn't, I do it sometimes, but not that much. As a mix up. There to. You gotta uh, DI the hard, smash the hard so that when it connects. That was very hard to react to though. It's like a reverse there. Not a good slide B. Like, uh, in this day and age, this never works against, like, even, uh, decent players. Yellow side B, and you gotta do neutral. If you're gonna side B, you gotta try to catch him out of the jump. And this accomplishes nothing. This side B. Too far away, and they can react to it easily. Duck could have even spot dodged the side B, so he'd fall down onto the ground, and then he'd be even more fucked. Really. Sort of gambly uh, grab by Duck, but it worked. Wes could escape though. Say he rolled away or towards him. Or jumped. Ooh, that was good. I like that. Stomp up here. He did like a shield drop too. He didn't have to because he dropped through up here. Pretty yeah, when this Falc Samus is a double jump, pretty hard to uh edge guard. That was terrible of it was. That was like a Johnny edge guard that I would do in friendlies, but not in tournament. He just flew out there for no reason and got hit for no reason. It's like fucking up edge guard and then uh they kill you instead. That's what he just did. Except Duck fucks it up for some reason. Wes is playing pretty lame here, but um, it is Phantom of Dreams. If you read my guide, uh, I'm totally for playing lame on the stage. You don't have to, but uh, it's definitely viable. And uh, Duck doesn't have the best counter to uh, Falcon playing defensively. Or offensively. I think this matchup is tough for Samus. I don't blame him. I'm eating uh, popcorners, kettle chips. Let's see West Balls. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty abusive play by Wes. It's kind of how he plays against floaties, but uh, he does, his problem with playing abusive, he doesn't really know how to uh, mix it in with uh, strong approaches at the same time. Samus is a weaker character, so it's uh, not as bad, but still, when you watch him versus, like, say, great floaties or sheiks, his lack of a strong mix up with aggression is why he loses to them, in my opinion. He just can't beat them enough in neutral. Back to FOD, okay. 
Buck likes to stage a lot. When uh, Falcon, like I said, is in those really, really high recovery situations, the top platform gives uh, Falcon a uh, basically a coin toss recovery because all Wes has to mix up is land on top platform or edge camp. If he was a better Falcon, he would have got that punish right here. You just gotta have the eye to uh, recognize when he's gonna tech, and that would have done like a slow stomp rather than like a fast knee. Slow stomp would would have uh, covered both no tech tech, and you have you can react to whatever he uh, does after whatever he texts to the right or to the left. So uh, I would definitely would have done a slow stomp instead of like a fast knee like West did. He got him hit by no smash. Interesting choice by Duck. But ultimately, it does a lot of damage, but it doesn't really send him anywhere. I think maybe you can actually do like a reverse weak backer with Samus right in the spot and connect it with the Nair if you want to. Uh, kind of like how you can do a weak backer with Sheik. When I mess around with Samus, I definitely know in the spot you can do a weak reverse backer. And it definitely connects to another option here. So maybe Duck can do that instead or uh, wait for him to land. I don't know. There's a lot of choices you have here. He goes for like the guaranteed safe stuff. Their knee. Classic. West just needs to stomp a little bit more too. West went for the greedy knee here. I think he wanted like a reverse knee to try to get a kill. Duck would get a DI, would definitely not die from his knee. He went for like the greedier reverse. Well, it's fucking this slow falling knee, and then West kills himself. All right. That was nice. I really like this. It's kind of like when you bait on Marth. You bait on Marth to a forwarder, but um, there's like enough of a window. Plus, the range of his Samus's forwarder compared to Marth's forwarder is like lower, it's shittier. So uh, it's a good it's a good mix up against some floaties. Not Sheik, I think it sucks against Sheik, where you up throw at low percents, and then you wait for him to throw out a move, and then you punish him right after, it's like a 50-50. I like it. Oh. There's gotta be like a better combo sequence that Duck can do <laughs> to guarantee the kill. It's hard to say though, Samus is tricky. See? Falcon's, Falcon's recovery is as strong as Samus. It's because you have so many things you can do. You can fade back. And Samus is so slow that uh, she really has to commit to an option. And uh, after you commit to one option, it's very hard to cover everything else after the fact. It made me think Falcon's recovery is not as bad as people say. Only against certain characters and certain situations. Against like uh, Peach or Samus, it's not bad at all in a lot of, in a lot of spots. Stomp. Oh, reverse knee. That almost killed him. But not quite. Down smash. Yeah, I think if Duck... Uh, it's so it's hard for me to say, cause, but there's got to be a better way to edge guard. When Falcon's up being at low percents, there's got to be the way to keep uh, hitting him off stage, like how Fox backers. There's got to be like a right selection of moves. That when put together, you're, you're, every time Falcon's off stage like that, he's gonna die. Duck did it twice, but uh, I don't know. I feel there's got to be a way to pull it off. Oh, that's ballsy. That shouldn't have worked. That was like bad DI on Duck's part. You always got to DI down in a way, no matter what in the spot. Double upper. He held it in twice. That's why the sneak run off knee connected also. It's kind of a choke. Did I play E7 all summit? Yeah I did. In friendlies. I played him in like three friendlies. He's actually not that bad at melee. I thought he was gonna suck dick. But uh you know not bad. Definitely has an aggro of Samus style. 
I don't know how gimmicky it is, but it's pretty aggro. And not honestly, pretty fun to play against. I think he went for the proper option. That man now swagging itself. But uh, where's everyone going? You got space in there better. Uh, threat of Samus is up B. So you either gotta space it, or when you uh mix in aerial timings, you can maybe spot dodge or roll away, and then after you roll or spot dodge, you can hit Samus with like a knee for the kill right here. And that's my biggest problem with West's Falcon style against Duck. He's not being aggro enough with enough mix-ups to force up Bs. Or bad options for Samus. And when you get Samus up being and you can dodge, predict him and dodge him, that's when you get free knees on this character. Because uh, you put so much pressure that uh, they're forced to up B. Or just get hit by your other moves when your shield starts wearing down. And Wes hasn't really been doing that a lot, which I don't like. I'm coming to more UCI tournaments. Uh, there's a tournament today, but I think I'm going to opt to go to uh, Mangoes instead to practice for Dreamhack. I'll probably go to more of those in the future, though. It sucks that it's on Tuesday, though, because it's Monday, Tuesday. Also, I think I'm going to go to Kira's bi weeklies, or uh, whatever the monthlies. The last one seemed pretty good. Had like 100 people. I'm down to go to those. Might even be better than SSS in terms of how well it's run. Strong but not optimal. It's interesting how that up, up tilt uh, knocks him up though, but in this spot I think you can do like a... Rather than there, you gotta have, just have the eye for a uh, sweet spot back here. Because then he definitely wouldn't be able to go back to the edge if he did. I think... Uh, it's kind of like, you know, when you're foxed and you go for like in there rather than ending it with the backer, like uh, that extra little knockback would literally change the stock. Yeah, he definitely would have been sent further away. That uh, would have been way easier to edge guard Falcon if he did like a sweet spot back here. Kind of chips. These are pop corners. Yeah, I can't justify going to the UCI tournament today, even though I actually liked the campus. There's like a there's like a bar right next to the venue with like cheap good beer. I love that place. The problem is uh, Dreamhack. I I need as good of practice as I can possibly get with. Dreamhack's gonna be a, this week, literally, so I can't go to, to UCI. Ooh, <laughs> just charges a shot right in his face. <laughs> Pulls out a gun, but it's a water gun. He's <laughs> forced to, uh, there's no reason to get off right here. I don't like it. <laughs> Getting off as Falcon, you gotta wait for the, you can, you gotta wait for Samus to, uh, go up before you let go. Like, letting go right now is bad. It kind of forces him to wall jump, or, uh, do some weird option that kind of fucks Samus. You don't want to let go right there. Uh, I don't know why he got off ledge there. He definitely could have just held it and waited. Oh, beautiful movement. I guess there was burst back there. It's pretty crazy. Just bouncing around on the top platform waiting for Duck to do something unsafe. Uh, kind Only of on grounded opponents? Okay. FD with one big platform or one yeah, this is horrible for Samus. Interesting. <laughs> the way the stage is right now. But Duck's like, I don't care. I'm just going to come back here. He's dead. This he's fucked. Roll. Alright. Yeah, uh, when I played Duck in tournament, even like a year ago, he beat me once on Final of Dreams. It's definitely his, one, his best stage. Sun effects, what's up, dude? At least one part. At least just yesterday. I don't, I don't understand this Fox pick. Maybe you want to mix it up, and he's like, I have two matches, but uh, you can easily go uh, Falcon versus Samus on Stadium. So this is such a good stage for Falcon against Samus on Stadium. He didn't have to go Fox, and considering how much he hates floaties like Samus or whatever, I, I think he really should have just stayed uh, Falcon 
the stage. I think his I think his notion or his, his idea is that if he goes Falcon on on FD, um, but maybe his Fox is good. Dude, Down through regrab, nice. What he notices is that uh, this is actually a great spot to down throw, as Fox right here. Reason being uh, you down throw, they attack in place, easy follow up, down throw, attack to the left. There's not a lot of space for uh, Samus to roll, so it's also easy reaction. If you down throw here and they go past you, usually for most floaty characters, so you down throw like uh, there's enough time. For you to run to the right on F smash. You see Mingo do this against Armada's Peach. So I'm actually in favor of down throw in this spot, particular spots. If Samus is facing towards the right here, then I wouldn't down throw ever. Because he's facing to the left, you can actually cover every option easily. Easily as Fox. If you have the reaction speed. Or the right read. So yeah. I actually like uh, down throw in this spot. Ooh, I like it. Ducks, also, Duck is so good against Fox that uh, kind of hurting. Wes kind of hurt himself by switching off Falcon. He, Duck isn't he's he's notorious for hating hating Falcon, and he plays against KJH all the time. So uh, having that practice against like the most technical Fox, one of the most technical Foxes, there's like nothing that uh, Duck will be surprised by from a Fox player. So I don't like this counter pick. If he went state Falcon, he definitely could have won game four. Yeah, what's this Falcon did be plucked? Uh, overall, the matchups, I'd say Falcon is just simply way easier to beat Samus with than uh, Spacey's. Considering how uh, bad Duck is at dealing with Falcon aggression and defense. Yeah, Duck's just the. Everyone knows the matchup, man. It's 2016. If you don't know the matchup, then I don't know where you've been. Under the rock of Patrick. That's why it's Pua. Say he lives under a rock. Literally. I don't even like that pressure that West did. Literally. Like you're jabbing so close to Samus that you're just gonna eat it up, B. He had really good DI though. Smashed DI up so hard that he escaped and hit Samus in time, which is kind of crazy. Sun always, what's up? Who do you think is a better Samus overall? Hugs or Plup? It's Plup, no question. Plups, he's a. Uh, He's the best in the world with two characters, and that's Samus and uh, Sheik. Although, uh, because he hasn't focused on Samus as much as Duck has, I think maybe Duck is better situationally. But as a player and both overall, still, I think Plup's better with Samus than Duck. You think Sheik? Uh, situationally, really good. But is that as good as Plup Sheik? I don't think so. Plus, me thinking he's neutral with Sheik is not. Nearly as good as Pup's neutral. You think he's more of a gambler. Well, Pup, uh, he gambles in a way smarter way, and uh, Pup's reaction speed is also better than uh, Meat King's. So, Pup's 50 50 gambles are like very smart and safe. It's overall better than uh, Meat King's. But I can't really say Meat King's Sheik is better than Pup's. Maybe in the Sheik Dittos though. We can always beat Plop and Sheik Dittos, so. But do Dittos indicate which play is better? I don't know. Especially Magic Black Sheik Dittos where you can chain grab. Even with no chain grabs too, I think. Uh, 
kind of still a janky matchup that you can't really use as a parameter for who's the better better sheik. Uh, Mitchell, 10xx. If Duck fast followed the uh, up B, then it wouldn't have connected his uh, back air. So I don't think it's a smart gamble ever. It's just uh, Duck didn't expect West DI out of the what's it called the up B like that. Had he uh, reacted or fast followed it, then uh, he wouldn't have got hit by the back air. So I still think it's a bad choice to uh, gamble on an up B as a spacey. Smashing out of an up B as a spacey and counter attacking after. I think it's a bad gamble. Ooh, that's dope. Right, here's the famous match. I would never go. Uh, I think this stage favors Falcon for sure against Samus, but I wouldn't never go here. Reason being, there's no platforms to uh, help you recovery. I think Falcon beats Samus in neutral really well, and because FD strips you down to neutral only, basically in edge guarding. If you beat your opponent in neutral, then uh, on paper you should win on the stage every time. But uh, a heavy downside is Falcon doesn't have platforms to trick Samus, so now your recovery is back to being kind of bad, rather than good against Samus. Also, West's neutral game is not uh, does have enough mix-ups. I feel like uh, there's a window for uh, need to connect, but it has to be like spacing has to be right, and you gotta be perfect jumping out of shield like it's down tilt for your need to connect. Otherwise, when you go for this pressure, uh, I think up air is better, and you be space it better than a, a knee like this, like a kind of a slightly desperate knee to add pressure, but. It leaves you open like this where you're inside the Samus' shield, so uh, honestly not that good of a spot to be in as a Falcon. Even in there would be better if you uh, hit with the tip up there, so you're not inside Samus like this. I don't like it. I mean, that's where Although, Duck tried to jump out of shield. I don't know why. I think he tried to up B. I, I think Falcon, has a lot of Falcon is amazing. That's working. Thank you. It's a work in progress. Still got a lot of uh, things I can be better at. But at the same time, like I said before, Duck's very good at uh, spacing, and FD is all about spacing because there's no platform. It's all nooch. It's all nooch. Exactly. <laughs> you can't nooch. You can't win this matchup. Can't nooch. Exactly what I've been saying. Yep, West just asked for full up backers over and over. And uh, Samus can't do much against it, especially at this percentage. You either got to block or uh, not get hit by it, but Falcon is pretty safe after. It's very abusive stuff from Falcon. And yeah, it's honestly pretty smart. But not all the time, though. Ooh, nice double jab. Oh, Falcon good. All right. That was a kill. I don't like this. Uh, you gotta recognize when uh you can do like low stomp. You don't gotta keep full hopping when Falc you know Sam is kind of fucked up. Miss edge. In this spot, you gotta uh you can actually stomp edge can't grab the edge. But West went for like a safe stomp, which you don't like. You gotta, uh. If this is on YouTube and I can slow it down, I can better analyze the spot, but, uh. He out there for like a double jump as Samus missed the edge. If he was faster reacting, he can, uh, definitely stomp it without double jumping. 
and got there in time to catch at least his up B. And then Edge can't grab the edge, and Duck would be in a really bad spot, and he probably would have lost the game right here. But Wes opted for like a safer stomp when he didn't have to. Is Falcon Samus a better matchup than Falco? I think so. But I still think Falco beats Samus. It's just that, uh, like Falcon and both Falco both beat Samus in neutral. Maybe Falcon wins more, but uh, with platforms, Falcon's recovery against Samus is like really hard to deal with. Well, Falco, one big mistake can mean you die a lot of times against Samus. So, say Falco beats Samus 55-45, I think Falcon versus Samus is at least a 65. 35 or 60 40. Beautiful. Ooh. Amazing. That was all off of just the uh, wiggle out of the <coughs> or wiggle out of uh, down throw. Nice. That jab so good. What's fucked up? Fast ball of ledge and misses it. Uh oh. This is losers. This is, yeah, this is losers. This could be West Ball's last game. He might not make top eight. Really risky. His grabs haven't paid off and uh, <laughs> they paid off a few times, but uh, Overall, West is a very aerial heavy Falcon. He's not, he hasn't really gentlemen once, if at all. He probably did a couple times, but uh, West doesn't really grab or do a lot of uh, grounded moves. No forward tilts, down tilts, gentlemen. So uh, I think Duck going for grabs is just bad adaptation. He's just, it's just not going to pay off a lot of the times to grab. Maybe against other Falcons, sure, but not against his. He's very uh, full hop back air, short hop. <laughs> Is the video quality on source? It's on medium, whoops. My bad. Wow, the times that bounce still kinda bad. This is so close. I, I don't see a difference in quality after I put it on the source. Interesting choice after the stomp. Uh, kind of went for the guaranteed, like cover every option using reaction speed. Uh, a lot of choices he could have done. He went for the safe choice, and that's kind of the story of his Falcon against Samus, where he's kind of grinding him down with the uh, full hop back air, safe choices. Good gentleman here. Uh, even though we trade with down tilt, uh, this is the percentage when you want a gentleman when you're in danger, when they're above 100%. Because it's going to knock them away. And it's, it's weird how Duck deals with uh, this pressure by jumping out like this. I guess he doesn't want to up B because maybe Wes might wiggle out and punish him after. But he can up B and go to the edge so you don't have a landing leg. Maybe Duck's fucking up his up B's. I think up B here is very strong as a choice. And you fade back towards the edge and you grab it. Because he's just been jumping now and getting hit by every follow up move, which honestly shouldn't happen much. And that's also another weakness of Samus. Samus's role is pitiful. She only has up B as an escape. Every other move is slow and uh, way dash back. Sometimes you can get caught jumping out of shield, way dashing back when you're trying to uh, escape. In this case, though, up B is definitely definitely fine if you just fade towards the right side. Smash break A, how's it going, dude? Knee. Perfect knee pressure. I actually think he might have been able to go to, uh, for a grab there. Yeah, Duck just committed to a dash attack and got grabbed, but this percent's mm -hmm. making it hard to change the grab combo. So yeah, I think Falcon's tools are really good at fucking up Fucking with Samus' weaknesses. Safe pressure forces up B's. Up B's are your only strong choice of Samus, so uh, when you have safe good pressure and you beta up B's, then Samus is fucked. The flip side is that uh, you can actually fuck up Falcon if you catch him up off like this. There's no platform to save you, so uh, now you're gonna probably die unless you fuck up like Duck did. Also, a lot of cross-up stumps from West Balls would help a lot too in neutral. He kind of just fights in front of his face, but you gotta mix it up with stumps, crossing him up. Uh, I don't like this choice with Duck doing the forwarder. 
That's like hoping he has bad DI. But on the flip side, uh, there's not a lot of time for him to hit with any other moves, so I guess it's fine. I think maybe Nair could have connected, but it looks like there's not enough time for anything else. His problem seems to be uh, com committing too much. He committed to like a dash tech, and that gave him just enough time to uh, not be able to follow up as hard on this tech to the left. Plus, the grab again, it's not smart against uh, West's Falcon. Where would you put Falcon on tier list? I think he's the worst top tier. So, this is Johnny Osgard right here. Johnny Osgard by West coming up. Like how safe he's playing, lame. Very effective against Samus. I don't actually mind this. If he uh, did it up or slower, it would have connected. He didn't have to, but uh, if he waited the tiniest second longer, this upper would have connected. He still would have died, I think, but because uh, he had to wait. Look how low his up B was. But, but it might have killed him. A bit too on that. Might, might cost him. And here, West plays like a complete vagina for his entire last stock. This is this is when I try to mix it up, but then again, it's, it's FD where one mistake he can die for it. It's interesting here that uh, this is the first time he went for a knee instead of a back air, and the back air would have killed Samus, probably. He fucked up like his input, I guess, but a back air would have killed him because he went for a down smash. So that's like probably the biggest choke that was pulled off. So Duck shouldn't have backed up that much. Because Falcon's up B. Because oh, of... He backed up a little bit too much. He only had to wait dash back once, in my opinion. He didn't have to back up twice. Otherwise, now he can't cover the edge, which Wes went for. So he could've ended the game right there had he not wave dash back twice, Samus. Yeah, just West just keeps doing the same option every time. I don't blame him. I guess you want to play safe on FD, like I said earlier, many times. It's so safe, but uh, don't like it. It's too safe. Right there too. This is another window where West could have hit him because he ducked in a sweet spot this grapple right here. Because it didn't sweet spot the edge, this was a free backer and would have ended the game again. So it was like his third choke, honestly, that West pulled off. Oh my lord. Duck just saying I'm going in. Yeah, Duck playing really shield heavy, doing a lot of shield wave dashes, so he knows grab is invaluable. He knows. Oh, that could have been it. Ooh. West balls. Oh, good, 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 good test, oh, my lord. Oh man, let's see. Oh, that jab! Wow. Good gentleman, it was. Two eighteen. This is incredible. This is. Got to recognize when Samus just fucks up her uh shit. Yeah, flurry, winky, dink. Uh, considering how low percentage was, like uh. You can mix it up any time with the Tomahawk, and even if Samus up B's, or you bait it, you can bait it out first of all. Even if Samus up B's, you can DI pretty hard, and you're not gonna get fucked for getting hit by an up B's Falcon at low percent. So he could, he had a bunch of times to mix it up, but he chose not to. All he did was back air, back air, back air, back air. Oh, tech, that tech. Forward smash. West Ball's looking a little bit flustered. Oh my god, that, that was like a phantom missile. Ooh. Oh my lord, this is 143 left. <laughs> 218 and 169, bad Gian, that And here too is another bad Falcon play. Uh, oh you guys might not think much of it, but uh, when you're shielding as Falcon and someone's behind you, you can't do shit out of shield. You gotta just roll to the right, honestly. Or, 
or you can wait for like a leg you move to hit you. There's no move you can do here as Falcon that's gonna outspeed uh, a forward tilt from Samus, so you just gotta roll to the right. And Wes jumped out of shield. So yeah, Wes choked like six times in a row. Pretty depressing. How do you feel about using the first set of Neric Kick from? Uh, it's pretty good sometimes. It's not going to be good every time. You can also jab reset with first in there. I do it sometimes when uh, I'm a little bit too far away to uh, do anything else, but Neric can actually uh, reset them like a jab. Box. All right. Uh, why did e Easy get bad banned? I trust my mods. I trust them. All right. So that was West versus Duck. Probably like six point five out of ten set. Bad showing in melee. Epic choke. Duck doesn't know the matchup that well, and I don't blame him. That matchup's tough. West played like one way the entire time and then uh, choked multiple times in a row when he could have beat him. It's, it's sad.